Hello everybody, how are you? It's a beautiful sunny day here in downtown Moorabark, Victoria, Australia of course. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, the second book I want to talk to you about is this one. Peace by Gary Disher. I've read some of his books before and they're truly, really good reads. Gary Disher writes um, in, in authentic Australian settings and this book is set in outback South Australia near Flinders Ranges. I've been there so I know what the countryside looks like and um, his description of it is just superb. It's an interesting novel in that it's a crime novel but it's also like many novels and TV shows got two sort of stories sometimes even three stories running along in the background hi people hi Melissa how are you and Sharon um, now it's about a character called Constable Paul Hirschhausen he gets just called Hirsch and it's a really interesting read in it it's a quiet country town He's an outsider, he's only been there 12 months and it's just on Christmas and being just on Christmas, he's hoping for some peace. Of course, it's a novel and he's not going to get peace. And what it really is about and what, what I found really interesting about this book is it starts out as a small country town we meet all the varying characters who are quite interesting. Hi, Renee and Steve. Really interesting characters, um, like all small country towns. Um, and, you know, he does the fairly boring things of welfare checks on people and, you know, <laughs> as it's described in the book. Uh, how, how do they it's beautifully put? Oh. Um, it's Christmas is here, apart from a grass fire, Two boys stealing a ute and Brenda Flan entering the front bar of the pub without exiting her car. His life has been peaceful. So that's the sort of thing he normally has to deal with. All of a sudden, he's dealing with a really horrific um, case of animal mutation. And then, out of the blue, two murders. Uh so you can imagine leading up to Christmas where he's got to play Santa and he's not excited by this, he suddenly has all this happening and there's police from New South Wales and South Australia both turning up. Now, he's in this country town because um, in his previous life, he was a copper who was at a station and um, he was there with other people who were um, corrupt and he chose not to go along with that. But no matter where you are, you get caught up with the dirt. When the dirt got thrown around, it stuck to him as well. So in many ways, this is a book about his values, his core values. Because his core values are really straightforward. He's a straight up honest sort of bloke which is why he had the problem at the previous workplace and like all of us our core values permeate all our decisions and how we perceive the world now you and I or he and one of the other characters can have the same values as someone else but they play them out in very different ways uh, and their values determine their priorities. Now, it's really interesting that he believes in justice and some of the other characters in the story believe in justice and how he plays out his version of justice and they play out theirs. Um, so it's, it's really quite interesting to see how his values underpin all his actions and his thoughts. And, and even at times, his values go against each other. He really cares that he really wants connection in this small country town. But at the same time, he wants peace. And that means not connecting necessarily with all these people and all their 
interesting stories and conflicts. Um, and even sometimes his connection can go against his own personal authenticity. Um, there are things he has to do to make the connections with other people in this town. Not being authentic to himself. Um, really great story. Amazing story. Um, and to get the piece, what takes place. Gary Disher, I've got to tell you, every book of his I've ever read has this ability just to feel like it's going slowly and meandering around but when you get to the core of them they're beautiful stories about people and how people deal with their lives and how they how how their values underpin all their actions and thoughts as i've said um it's really poignant in this story that as i said there's two things happening there's a a story underlying where all these odd little bits and pieces have been happening in the town. There's the story with this horrific um, crime against animals. And then there's the murder. And how they're all interwoven with each other is really interesting. And it comes down to the very last of the three sort of main stories that get resolved. is all about another character's values, a character who we don't really see much. Um, and then all of a sudden, the last few pages are all about them and their values and how they perceive the world and, again, their version of justice. Um, I love books about values. Values are so important. The really important thing for most of us is to actually know what our values are. If you don't know what your values are, it's really difficult to actually sometimes make decisions. Um, when you know your set of core values, you can actually see why you make the decisions. Now, I know my core values are loyalty and justice, and I can trace my, my core value of justice all the way back to my primary school days, where I used to um, stand up for the girls if the boys were teasing or bullying them. None of that happened on my watch. Um, my values of becoming involved in union work in various workplaces because I believed everyone should be treated right and with respect. And that was all about loyalty and that was all about justice and fairness. So it's really important to actually know your values. And Paul or Hirsch in this book knows his values. I know my values. I want to leave you with a question today. Do you know your values? What are the values that drive your life, that underpin all of your decisions? Because it's a really important thing when you finally know what they are, and there's a process to work out them, and I can help people with that. That's what I do when I do hypnosis or NLP or life coaching. When you know your values, making decisions that seem like they're going to be hard becomes so much more simple. So really guys, my thoughts are, I'd love you to leave some messages or type me a message or post after this goes up. What are your values? And how do they underpin what you do every day? Because it's a really important thing and um, helps you to understand what you do and how you do it. Now tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about another book I read on my holiday. Um, and then after that, I'll be talking about other books because I think it's really nice to actually talk. And I, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I read this sort of book. I don't really like reading off screens. I really like a book. It's probably to do with my age, I know. I can read on screens, but I love the feel and the smell of a real book. Um probably my my values around authenticity and what I think a book is <laughs> if the truth be known anyhow leaving you with that question what are your values if you don't know what your values are you can always contact me and I can help you work them out but guys knowing your values is so important thank you for listening if you come across if you want to read a great book Gary Disher's piece absolutely loved it absolutely enjoyed it and i've read a few other books 
and I really enjoyed them as well. An iconic Australian writer who's won numerous prizes. In fact, he won the... Oh, it's written here somewhere. He won the Lifetime Award, I think it is. Oh, yes, I forgot to say. He got the Ned Kelly Lifetime Achievement Award for... Oh, Sharon, fantastic. Family, hard work, keeping busy and honesty. Awesome, Sharon. Honesty. Great one. Family. All your hard work and keeping busy tie in with your family and your honesty. They all tie in together. I forgot to say, I've actually got a signed copy of the book because my sister came across him at a book signing so to philippa best wishes from gary disher so it's a very special book sent just to me so thank you sharon for sending through yours and um, i'd love to know about other people's in the meantime tomorrow another book great to see you all get out there and get some vitamin c but don't forget put the sunscreen on people who aren't in australia where it's not so warm <laughs> Put your scarf on. Okay. See you later, everybody. Bye.